Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Today we have Roy Pitchford, who's the CEO, and Andrew Pelea, who's the president of the Romania operations for Vast Resources PLC, who's the AIM listed VAST ticker. Uh, they are former exploration, now production company with assets across Zimbabwe and Romania, amongst others. Hi, Roy and Andrew. How are you doing today? Morning, John. Good. Thank Morning, you. John. So you've had news out yesterday about your beta play license. Uh, can we just get an update from you, Roy or, or Andrew, whichever, uh, as to what's happened there and where, where that's going to go over the next six months? Uh, I'll just kick off quickly and then hand over to Andrew. Uh, this is something that the Romanian management has been working very hard on for a long period of time. It's been a very complex process, not the normal uh, license application, because these have come through very quickly. This has been a particularly difficult one, and we've now crossed the main hurdle. But to update you on the process, uh, Andrew, if you could um, take over. Uh, thank you very much, Roy. Uh, good morning, John. Well, Bullet Supply was actually a little bit more difficult than uh, uh, the other licenses we've obtained in the past. Um, it was due to the fact that we bought a company that was actually in insolvency and it eventually went into bankruptcy, that owned all the assets and the in for the to be able to mine the polymetallics at Bullet Supply. Uh, the process started about 18 months ago. We've managed to overcome all of the hurdles and we've now agreed with Bullet SA, the holder of the main license, which is a state-owned mining company. Um, to find a path forward to be able to start the process of uh, operations there. What, uh, what we've ended up concluding was that we will associate on the head licence, which will give us the right to mine the polymetallics. They went through a selection process to overcome any potential legal obligations or hurdles in the future to secure that the mine will be able to uh, remain under our control for the polymetallics in the future without any any problems moving forward. Uh, what, we've, what we've done now is we've completed, completed a selection process which gives us the right to associate on the licence. Uh, all we need to do now is finalise the terms and conditions of the association and get the final sign off from the Minister and the uh, equivalent of the Ministry of Mines which is ANRM to be able to start. How long do you expect that to take Andrew? Well, the negotiation process has been ongoing for quite a, a considerable amount of time. So we're now at the, at the let's say, the, the last 100 yards. We are hoping to have that all signed and agreed within the next 30 to 45 days. I mean, do you think it's a possibility that you'd look into a, a JV for the mining of Bates Play? Um, I don't think that a JV is required. Um, we are now looking for investors at the corporate level in Romania uh, rather than a JV partner. Um, but we have the in-house capacity to bring that mine uh, to full production, hopefully within the next 12 months, to completely um, satisfy our cash flow. So let's put it that way. So talking about investment then, Roy, uh, yeah. Your last r and before today was, was about you, you possibly getting matched investment up to $10 million. Uh, now, how's that progressing? It's progressing very well. Uh, basically, what we have it are two uh, entities that are interested in investing in our Romanian operations, i.e. a strategic investor. So it's not a partnership, it's not a JV, it's going to be a strategic investment into the mining operations in Romania. And we had a proposal from an undisclosed entity, and that has been matched by our joint, well not joint venture, by our investment partner in Zimbabwe in terms of uh, a pre-agreement whereby we had a loan facility from them. They have a right to match as we've announced. That right has been exercised and we're continuing to discuss with them. But the interesting thing for us is that both the parties that have expressed this interest in investing want to talk to each other. So we have a, a unique situation where we have two investors that are going to engage with one another and engage with the company and to plan a way forward to finance the 
uh, assets or the development of the assets in Romania in a mutually beneficial manner so that we can realize the enormous potential that exists in Romania within the current two mining operations, but more importantly, in the bigger play that we originally went into Romania to exploit. The, the large state-owned mines that are very much bigger than our current operations, we, uh, having made a success of Manila and Baita, will be in a good position to engage with the authorities in Romania to uh, discuss the reopening of these larger mines, but we'll have strategic investors uh, as part of the team that will engage with the Romanian state. So it puts us in a very, very much stronger position to move forward in a, a big way in Romania. So are you able to put any kind of timeline on when you expect to maybe confirm the outcome of those neg negotiations? I guess the answer is, how long is the piece of string? <laughs> <laughs> sure. See, um, the, the, this is a matter of priority by the company and by the, the two potential investors. So we're engaged and we will uh, conclude it as quickly as we can. And obviously, uh, any progress that is significant, price sensitive, etc., we will uh, announce to the market. But all parties are looking to... Uh, conclude this as quickly as possible, but to give an actual timeline uh, is, is really not possible, except to say as soon as possible. Okay, so you're obviously a multi-asset outfit and you've got a number of other projects in play. Do you want to just give give us an outlook for the next 12 months as to what is going to happen over, over the rest of your projects? Certainly. Uh, let's just start with Zimbabwe. Uh, there, the Pixton Peerless Mine, the sulfide uh, process, the second phase of developing the sulfide resources is well underway and nearing completion. The oxide processing plant and the oxide mining has been a huge success. And we've now uh, starting to encounter the sulfides. And so we've got to have facilities to process, this, process the sulfide ores. This has... Uh, develop very quickly. We should be commissioning the sulfide plant in the final quarter of the calendar year. And we envisage the milling rate to go from around 20,000 tons a month to 35,000 tons a month. And for the grade to go from around two and a half grams to somewhere between three and four grams. So we're going to see a significant increase in the gold production at Pixton. Uh, the cost per ounce is not going to vary greatly, and so uh, we're going to see an increased cash generation uh, at Pixton Peerless. However, we've got the giant mine next door, 30 kilometers away. In its day, it was larger than Pixton. We've so far defined 500,000 ounces there in an inferred resource, and we're starting the evaluation program now, drilling, testing, assaying, etc., to define a much larger ore body that we believe is there. And then we will do the pre-feasibility study, which we believe will convince us to go to the full feasibility study and the development of the mine. So we've got quite an aggressive expenditure program in the future in Zimbabwe, developing the second mine at Giant. Uh, and whilst we're doing that, we're also looking at other options that may arrive in Zimbabwe. So we're very engaged uh, on the gold front in Zimbabwe. But now coming to Romania, uh, <clears throat> we've announced to the market that we've bought the other 50% of Manila. So we now own the Manila polymetallic mine in Romania, 100%. And we've also announced to the market that our productivity at the mine has increased, our mining and our processing. We are produced the... We're very close to producing the design tonnage in terms of copper concentrate and zinc concentrate. And more importantly, we're producing the concentrate tonnages at the required grades, 18% for copper, close to 45% for zinc. So that's making a, an enormous difference at Manila, and Manila is powering forward now and we're looking forward to the cash generation that will come from that mine. The area that we are still uh, challenged with is on the 
gold recovery. A lot of the gold and silver reports in the copper and zinc concentrate, but there's a residual gold that is ending up on the tailings dam. And we've installed a gravity process to recover this gold. And that hasn't gone. And test work showed one thing. The application has shown another. But we've got consultants in to remedy that problem. And we're looking forward to the third revenue stream at Maniila. Of course, now that we've got a clear path towards getting the Baita license, we uh, will have the funding from one of our strategic or both our strategic partners, and we will now be able to uh, apply ourselves to the reopening of the Baita mine. Bear in mind that most of the equipment is in situ. It has to be cleaned up and tidied up. There's some replacement, but what we want to do is to get that mine into its first phase of production, building up to 10,000 tons per month. And because the grade is so much better and it's an easier mine to operate, albeit it's underground, we are looking for that that mine will generate. It's great, very much higher than Maniila. And as we know in mining, there's no substitute for grade. So getting Maniila into it, sorry, Baita into the first phase of production is going to make a huge difference to the company. And of course, when we then uh, utilize its full capacity, we will go above 10,000 tons a month. That mine will be a huge cash generator. And will put us in a position with two good mines in Romania, supporting the company and putting us in a position with strategic partners to engage with the Romanian government who are uh, very keen to re-establish the mining industry in the country and to look at some of the larger scale operations that have been closed for the last decade or so. So the next 12 months, uh, second mine in Zimbabwe, second mine in Romania is our objective. Okay, I mean, you've waited a long time for the buy to play license. I mean, do you think now is really the right time to start pushing the company to a wider investor audience? Certainly do. And uh, I know Andrew agrees with this, this sentiment, as does the board. We have, have come through a very difficult phase with limited funding in converting from an exploration company into a production company. We are now well and truly into production in Zimbabwe and Romania. And now we need to build the value of the company. And to do that, we need to attract longer term uh, institutional investors into the company. Uh, we are very grateful for the support that shareholders have uh, given us to date. But we have very little representation in the, sh in the share register from institutions. And to build a company, you need that institutional investor base. Now, we will be starting that process with um, these strategic investors that uh, are indicating a desire to come in. But we would like to add to them. We would like to, in the City of London, for example, to have some of the uh, institutions that traditionally invest in developing mining companies to come onto the register. And that's going to be a focus uh, going forward as well. So, Andrew, have you got anything to add to today? No, uh, other than the, the fact that uh, we are extremely happy with the performance of the management team here in Romania on Malayila, getting to the production levels that we've reached to date. And we're looking forward to the growth path after the completion of the drilling at the Malayila extension in Kali Baba, which we anticipate to be finalised in September. Um, and building the new plant, as Roy had mentioned, up at the Manila mine to reduce our costs by 30%. And we're hoping, or we're anticipating, not hoping, to start uh, the Bates uh, uh, operations by the end of the year. Uh, and that's been something that's been long awaiting. And we're looking forward to bringing shareholder value um, as soon as possible for our investors. Okay. Andrew Prillier, Roy Pitchford. Vast Resources PLC, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you very much, John. That is the ticker VAST on AIM if you want to go online and check Vast Resources out. Thank you for listening to Share Talk.
Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.